Welcome to Purity Class for September 2022. I do not own the rights to this music. Please have pen and paper ready to write down the scriptures for today's lesson and to study them on your own. The topic is wisdom. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Proverbs 10 verse 27 Proverbs 1 verse 7 Proverbs 3 verse 7 God gave Solomon wisdom that no one had had before him and no one has had since. In the book of Proverbs attributed to Solomon, he said the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Solomon is letting us know that wisdom originates from God. He is letting the reader know that to have access to this wisdom, the reader must fear God. There are several meanings for fear. In this passage, it means more than terrified or, or scared. It can mean respect as a servant fears a master. It could also mean reverence or awe like being in the presence of greatness. It also means be aware of God's presence in our lives, that he is watching all of our actions. When we fear the Lord, we are being respectful of God's commandments because we respect God. Proverbs 1 verse 7 says, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom. The fool has said in his heart, there is no God. In other words, God is not someone they should revere. There are consequences to being foolish. Further down in Proverbs chapter 1, it says in verses 28 and 29, They will look for God, but will not be able to find him, because they did not choose to fear God. In Proverbs 14, verse 7, Solomon says to leave the presence of a fool. When you hear someone talking foolishly, get away from them. A fool cannot help you. There are other benefits listed in Proverbs about the fear of the Lord. Proverbs 19, verse 23 says, The fear of the Lord tendeth to life. Respecting God, we respect his word. The Bible gives us direction on how to make wise decisions. Joshua 1 verse 9 says, If we meditate on the law, we would make our way prosperous. Proverbs 14 verse 26, The fear of the Lord allows his children to have a place of refuge. David also had a lot to say about fearing the Lord. Psalm 34 verse 9 says there is no want to them that fear the Lord. Psalm 115 verse 13 says he will bless them that fear him. Psalm 103 verse 13 says God pities them that fear him. Psalm 147 verse 11 says God takes pleasure in those that fear him. We need to fear the Lord. To, de to demonstrate the fear of the Lord, we keep his commandments. We give God reverence in praising and worshiping him. We acknowledge God's blessings and testify to others of his goodness. Scriptures to go along with today's lesson. Proverbs chapter 10, verse 27. The fear of the Lord prolongeth days, but the years of the wicked shall be shortened. Proverbs 1, verse 7. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. Proverbs 3, verse 7. Be not wise in thine own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. 
Job 28, verse 28. And unto man he said, Behold, the fear of the Lord, that is wisdom, and to depart from evil is understanding. Proverbs 9, verse 10. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and the knowledge of the holy is understanding. First Peter chapter 5, verse 6. Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time. Proverbs chapter 14, verse 27. The fear of the Lord is a fountain of life to depart from the snares of death. Proverbs 14, verse 26. In the fear of the Lord is strong confidence, and his children shall have a place of refuge. Psalms 111, verse 10. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. A good understanding have all they that do his commandments. His praise endureth forever. Psalms 25, verse 14. The secret of the Lord is with them that fear him, and he will show them his covenant. Psalm 86, verse 11. Teach me thy way, O Lord. I will walk in thy truth. Unite my heart to fear thy name. The end. God bless you and thank you for joining me today.